Hello everybody, and welcome to JP2 Knight's first esports game. I will be your shoutcaster, Matthew, and today we have the JP2 Knights versus the E Tigers. So we are just getting ready to get into Champion Select here. Um, we are waiting um, for a little bit, and um, while we are waiting, I will give you our roster here for the JP2 Knights. First off, in the top lane, we have Brother Doolin. Um, he's been pretty good up there in the top lane, currently ranked at gold one. Um, next up, we have in the mid lane, uh, Brother Noah. Um, he is going to, uh, I believe he is ranked gold five. And he, uh, He's been doing pretty well this season. And next we have, uh, down in the bot lane, we have Brother Kurtzel playing your AD carry. He's been doing very well this season. Um, currently ranked at Platinum 5. Next we have Brother uh, Cam. He is going to be supporting in the bot lane. Uh, currently ranked at Gold 5. and. Finally, in the jungle, we have Fireblade, and he is currently ranked at Silver 2. So, we are just uh, waiting to um, uh, get right into this game. And I believe there is a technical issue on the E-Tigers. And... Everything looks to be ready. We are getting ready to get this game underway. <sighs> Go ahead and subscribe to this channel in order to get all of your JP2 Knights esports. Um, there's not just League of Legends, we have other teams such as Overwatch teams, Rocket League teams, Hearthstone teams uh, as well. So go uh, go ahead and subscribe here if you would like to catch all the JP2 esports games. And we are just waiting again for um, uh, technical issues to be worked out. Um. Looks like a few players from the E-Tigers have left. Um, not quite sure what's going on there. And if you're hearing that beeping in the background or that dinging, it's just uh, some things being worked out in the in the tournament draft chat. So and I'm just gonna just gonna give a quick ask there, let them know Ask them if they are ready for uh, to the game. These are um, uh, tournament draft rules, and something of such. some trouble here where there's a new lobby this is interesting again some just technical things being worked out I think there is a or 
a tech technical issue being worked out. Hmm. And here we go. We are in champion select. We are in we are in champion select right now. Whoops, let me close this down. Make sure that's running on uh, there we go. And here we go. Looks like it's going to be the Galio picked top for uh, brother Duel, followed by Con by brother Cam. And looks like in the bot lane we got Caitlyn, uh, Trooper Dead 3, uh, Ari, Pexios, Soraka will be on Harmony Thief, Sona will be on Crims, and the Sivir pick coming out by Psycho Soldier. That's something. Here. And we have everything set up now. Looks like the Ari will also be picked in the mid lane. Vive in the jungle and the Zaya on Brother Kurtzel. That is something that we have seen from him a lot, and we will continue to see from him. Time's come, and we will just wait out this spectator delay. Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about the mirror matchup in the mid lane. Ari versus Ari here. Uh, Brother Noah versus Texios. Um, and I'm also not quite sure about the quite sure about the uh, top lane matchup here. It looks like it's going to be a Galio pick here from Brother Duelin, but over here on the E-Tiger side, um, I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, it could be a Sivir. Um, and there's also the uh, Sona and the Soraka pick to be watching as well. And I'm not quite sure what's going to be going on here. Could be a duo top lane. Uh, that's always a possibility, especially at, the, at these levels. Um, but everything else... Everything else is a bit interesting here. Again, we are just waiting for this spectator delay. There's about a minute left on the timer here, and then, uh, then we'll be able to get right into this game and see what's going on. Another thing to talk about here is the, uh, the Rakan and Zaya. Um, uh, synergy there in the bot lane um brother cam and brother kurtzel do play a lot together in the bot lane um they really know each other and they really know what's going on with each other and i think they got uh, a chance to make some great synergy here Timer is almost done here. All right, and here we go. We are loading in to JP2 Knights first. Esports match here in League of Legends. And let's see how they fare. This is a very new team, just started this year. And 
we are wondering how they're really going to match up against uh, and really play with each other um, in these games. Mastery's on all. Looks like Mastery's on all of... Uh, The JP2 side. We got a Thunderlord's Cree coming out from the mid lane. Looks like there's a few not connected here. Could just be something on my end. Could just be something on. Could be something on their end as well. Not quite too sure. So far, Harmony Thief has not connected. Again, could be something on my end. You never know. Oh, there we go. Looks like Harmony Thief is finally connected. Um, standard low-level summoners coming out from the E-Tigers. I just need to set something up right here. Making sure I'm still streaming. Also, on another note, every single JP2 game will be streamed here on YouTube. So, make sure and subscribe. Um, and I will be shoutcasting for most of them as well. Um, most of the League of Legends games, anyway. Um, we're working out the stuff with the Overwatch and as such as well. Looks like Harmony Thief is connected now. And here we go. Here we go in game here. And it looks like... Maybe. Well, maybe we'll be in game if... It would load. Hmm. <laughs> Technical difficulties, folks. Sorry about that. Ah, and there we go. This is the Esports Tigers on the red side. Looks like the and looks like the JP2 Knights will be on the blue side. So here they go, and there they go, and they're off. And now we're gonna wait till the direct camera comes out. Two are still sitting in the base there. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. So maybe they're wondering what's going on. Yep, Sona's coming along now. Looks like it'll be two in the mid lane, Sivir and the Ari. And we're gonna see what's happening here. Something could be happening over here at Baron Pit. Looks like they're just gonna lay down a little bit of a ward. Uh, looks like Fireblade's gonna be starting on the enemy red buff side, and looks like Iceblade and Brother Cam are gonna be starting at the blue side. Um, of course, the there's no. Uh, looks like there's a, something a little bit of a skirmish coming out here in top lane. The Q is out from Ari. The ignite is out. What, the flash. Will this be a kill? And the last tick of Ignite does not take her down. Looks like the Ari is coming in to try and stop this red buff push. But And there will be the first blood there on Vi. I'm not quite sure what that Ari was doing, to be honest. It looks like Sona will 
have to go back for some health. And in the bot lane, looks like not much is happening. Minions are coming in here. And that Sivir is going to be in that tri in the tri bush there. Could it be three? Could it be three in the bot lane? I don't know. And there's the knockup there. Already some good damage getting out of here. This is a trade. And looks like Brother Crystal will get a kill in the bot lane. Looks like Sivir will be trying to come up to contest that damage. But nothing will be able to happen. And she'll get a little bit of damage on her as well. They're going back in for the re-engage. And amazing knock up there by Cameron. And the heal is out. And that is a three kills there in the bot lane before three minutes. There's a charm there by Ari. Of course, they're both Ari. I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry about that. Excuse me, that is Brother Noah there in the mid lane. He's level 2. And I would like to see if I could get the... I'm not sure if the CS is up here. Hmm. That's uh, something a little bit interesting. In the bot lane here, looks like they've come back. They started to grab a little bit of farm for themselves. A little bit more damage coming out there. The flash is out by Caitlyn, but won't be a lot. Will he take that feather back? He will not. It looks like Caitlyn will lose to see another day. JP2 already up by 3k gold here. Let me continue this match. Like some more damage coming out here in the bot lane. The knockup is out, but that's a triple knockup there. Amazing kill by, by Jason. And that is another double kill in the bot lane. Brother Doom going to work here. There's the taunt. Sona's gonna have to retreat the tower. There's the flash, and oh my goodness! That was a play and a half right there. Great flash. And great Q out by Doolin will take Sona down. It looks like Brother Noah will start to go to work on this mid turret. We'll take a tower shot. As Doolin is going to work on the top turret. And the bot lane is going to work on the bottom turret. And this is just... Interesting here for the... For the E-Tigers. Mistakes are definitely being made. A little thing for you to knock up. Brother Kurtzel there. He's already going to have a decent amount of kills for him. Very behind in farm and uh, and there's the charm coming out by Ari. This will be a kid to kill mid lane for the ignite. Starts to go to work on uh, the other mid laner, Picos Sin. And there's the amazing gank by brother uh, Sean here. Excuse me, Fireblade. And he will take down Picos. And I'm beginning to push up here. Bot lane looks like they're getting a little bit pushed up and will not take anything by the turret. And there's a shot by there that just deletes them. The gank comes in from a, a fire blade and they will take out Harmony and Trooper. A trade's going up down in the top lane. Crimson, Crimson will be taunted and will go down. Oh, maybe not. The heal comes out and will not get that kill. Ultimate out there by Noah, but he is forced to retreat due to tower acro. Only level 3 here is uh, Pexios, and looks like Brother Noah will pick up that kill with a little bit of assistance from Firebug. 14 0 here, and looks like the flash will come out. The ultimate is out by Galio, and they're gonna go to work on the mid turret as. Uh, JP2 takes the first bot turret. And looks 
like Brother Duel and it's just gonna take a couple tower shots. And they found out that in the bush the gag is up. Sona is trying to get the hell out of there, but he will be killed. And the Intruper and Harmony are once again dead in the offering. Oh, we're not here. One and that will be an easy kill pickup. Oh, maybe not. Looks like uh, the Sivir is still, still trying to do something. Psycho will go down. And Pexios clearing a little bit of wards there in the base. And looks like JP2 is going to converge here on the mid lane. Will they can will the E Tigers contest this turret here? And like they will not. They will not be able to rather. And the gold is 19.5k to 7.1k. JP2 is up by 12. Thousand gold and four turrets, and it looks like JP2 will back off to buy items. Let's take a look at the build paths here. If we can. Oh, there's the double kill coming out from JP2. Will they get the triple? And looks like that triple will not actually be given to Fireblade. And uh, Brother Doom is going to pick up a kill, a kill right here. Looks like Crimson's coming in, but he has wandered too far. JP2 takes him down with ease. They will be walking in on this inhibitor turret and will take it easily with only Psycho to contest. Psycho is coming in a little bit late and he will be killed as well. And now there's going to be a fight breaking out. The flash uh, from uh, Brother Cam and that will be a double kill here for JP2. And now the heal comes out from Brother Crystal. Taking a few tower shots is Noah, that's pretty interesting. But he gets out of aggro and it looks like uh, the full team will be up. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the first JP2 game. 29 to nothing. Nine, 29 plus and nothing. And counting. Make that 30 to nothing. And it looks like JP2 will take this game with ease, ladies and gentlemen. JP2 versus E Tigers, and the E Tigers just could not perform to the skill level that JP2 could. Hmm. And that was just a. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, outright say it. That was just a stomp here from JP2. I mean, if we're being completely honest, I don't believe there was a single kill from the E-Tigers there. We're going to take a look at the stats here very quick. And we're going to see how everybody fared there in the bot lane. How everybody fared in the, on the rift, excuse me. Um, final kills was 13-0 on Brother Jason, 9-0 on Fireblade, 4-0 on Brother Noah, 1-0, 1-0 20 on Brother Cam, and 3-0 on Brother Doolin. However, um, the E-Tigers did not feel so well, 0-7. 05, 07, 03, and 08. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I I predicted, and there's your damage to the champions dealt by this game. Of course, Brother Jason, coming to the top here. But ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for this JP2 game. Make sure that you tune in next game, and I'm not sh quite sure when that is. 
Well, I will let you guys know when that is on the channel. Make sure to subscribe for more JP2 Esports. And I will see you guys later. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game 2 versus JP2 versus E-Tigers and we're going to have some different picks coming out here in this first game. Looks like we'll have some interesting picks coming out here. And looks like uh, JP2 is of course on the blue side of this game and E-Tigers are on the red side. Looks like we got, uh, in terms... Looks like in the mid lane, we got, uh... Brother Duon on Zed. Fireblade on Elise. Brother Kurtzel on Zaya. Brother Cam on Rakan. And Brother Noah on Lee Sin. So that is just something... Quite interesting here. I'm getting a message. Hmm. I believe this is a, I excuse me for ending the stream early. I, I believe this is actually a three-game series. So So, if, again, if you are interested in anything eSports JP2, go subscribe to the channel right now and um, uh, tell anybody else who might be interested in some tournament play um, uh, high school eSports. We don't just do League of Legends, we do many other games. We are currently working on uh, an Overwatch team, a Hearthstone team, and a Rocket League team, as well as um, potentially getting a CSGO game. But we'll see how this works out here. We are just waiting for the spectator delay. And anybody in the stream, I welcome you uh, to the stream. Uh, it's been... Uh, it is definitely an interesting thing here. Uh, I'm just... Checking out a few things on the stream, making sure everything is nice and dandy if you've just joined in if you've just joined in and this is your watching your first game welcome this is jp2 esports versus uh, the e tigers league of legends and um, looking to be a uh, a great game here so far The first game was <laughs> first game was a little bit interesting here. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was pretty interesting to see um, uh, really how how JP2 really played as a team. But the thing that I was confused most about was the way that the E Tigers played. Of course, they are a low a bit of a lower level team. You can't judge them for that. What's happening right now? Hmm. Again, we are just waiting for this to. Oops. We're just waiting for this to. Uh, Happen. It looks like we are getting ready to get into the game. The spectator delay is off now. And we're just going to wait for everybody to load up into the game and then we will get this game started.
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to the uh, to the game, and I will see you guys when you're loading in the game. All right, so here we are. It looks like we have no loading problems now. Thank goodness. <laughs> that took quite a while last time. It took quite a while. Um, but it looks like and we're just loading up. Brother Doolin is going to be playing Zed uh, in the top lane. Uh, Brother Noah is SKT1 Lee Sin in the mid lane. Brother Kurtzel is Zaya in the bot lane. Brother Cam is Rakan in the bot lane as well. And Fireblade is Elise in the jungle. Here we got Pexios again going with the Ari. Uh, Sona uh, going with, uh, I mean, excuse me, Harmony Thief going with Sona. Psycho Soldier going with Misfortune, Trooper going with Ziggs, and Crimson going with Caitlyn. Hmm. And here we are, getting ready to start this game. Again, we got a little bit of a delay here. And the E Tigers will be on the red side, and the JP2 Esports team will be on the blue side. It looks like it'll be the same. This is game two. And looks like we're just buying our first starting items, and we are off here. Looks like it's gonna be a an invade coming in here by JP2. And we're gonna see how this uh how this plays out. Although I'm not sure if the invade will really work. Saying as all of the... All the E-Tigers e are going up to the top lane. But it looks like, nonetheless, the... Looks like, nonetheless, the JP2 Knights are going to be starting the blue side. And they are all waiting, lying in wait for Brother Dooling. They are just waiting for him to get that TP top, and then they will strike at him. And what are they doing? And what is... JP2 Knights looking at doing down there in the bot lane. Some interesting com things coming out here from the JP2 Knights and from the E Tigers. Interesting strategies here. Camps have spawned. And I wish we could. We're going to take a look at what they're doing. Camps have spawned. Gromp and Blue Buff. And looks like they will. Okay, we'll go ahead and try and take this blue buff. And unbeknownst to them, however, the E Tigers still, still just lying away in top lane. Oh, no, no, oh, it looks like here they come. Here comes Brother Doolin. And they're just waiting. And then he doesn't know. Oh my goodness, and they all come out. He's running towards the river. He doesn't know what's going on. They are all trying to go and take him out. There's a flash there by Zillion. Doesn't do much there. And there is the dance emoticon coming out from Brother Doolin. Leeson goes in. There's the Ignite. First blood in here by Elise. And Brother Doolin will take down Trooper. Will they get Harmony as well? Q's out and Brother Noah gets Harmony as well. And they will take down Pexios as well. This could be... Uh, immediate game ace and the ghost is used by crimson and he will be able to get away just good idea by the e tiger not very good execution not very good execution there's the bot lane taking advantage of everyone else being away and they will still try and all go this top lane all top strategy
in. Brother Duel's having a little bit of a difficult time here. I'm sure he's a little bit frustrated. And he will almost be killed. The tower dive is a tower dive. And that's a double tower dive. The triple tower dive by the E Tigers. And it looks like Fireblade will pick up the kill here. On Crimson. And now Pexios has found himself in a little bit of a pickle. As Fireblade is chasing him down and he will have to retreat back to turn. It looks like there's a fight in the mid lane. The Ziggs will. Uh, excuse me. Trooper will be. Yeah, it looks like that's a lot of damage coming out for the Sona, and she will into turret. And I'm not sure this is a really serious game here for the E Tigers. coming out here. Looks like Brother Duel's chasing a few down. And there's a the kill there in the mil mid lane and a double kill there for the top lane, making the score 10 to nothing here. JP2's up 10k gold. Brother Duel going to work there in the top. First Dirt Blood will be Give him the JP2. Looks like Fireblade is here to help out Brother Doolin and give him another kill. And there, this thing stacking one on top of the other here for this E Tiger team. There's the exhaust coming out here from Brother Cameron. Brother Kurtzel taking him down. Just as simple as that. Just as simple as that for this pair. This pair. Looks like Pexios will be returning to base get some health. And I think, I believe, that Psycho is actually... Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I thought that he was... AFK, but it turns out that he was just flying away for a little bit. A little bit of poke coming out there from Brother Duel. This is like to engage on this fight. And it's going to be a 3v5. Looks like they uh, engage there from Brother Noah is in. Uh, a quick E from Brother Duel will take him out, and the Ignite will not take tick down for the Ziggs, and he will be able to. And looks like Fireblade and Pexios are having a fight. And they're going to try and push up and take this inhibitor turret. E-Tigers aren't going to try and let them. And it's just difficult to defend here for the E-Tigers. Now it's a 5v3. Brother Duelin and Brother Noah are in very low health. How will this work? Ziggs is going out for the push. The bomb field is out. And he will be rooted. The Zaya is going to work on him. And Brother Kurtzel will take him out. Will he look for another? He will. Will he be in auto attack range? And he has to back off. And Brother Doom racking up kills here. As is Brother Kurtzel. And I believe even Brother Cameron got a kill. Crimson having to back off this turret here. And we'll take down that Inhibitor turret. Looks like Trooper will try and go in. He will go down as well as Psycho. Uh, not sure, it's quite sure what Harmony's doing here. He'll be killed as well as will Crimson. Crimson actually gets away from that. That was crazy. That's gonna be a good setup here for Psycho. He's going in and he is dead. 
as in Trooper. And they will be going to work on these Nexus turrets. And the minions are to push up. Harmony taken taken out by that insane damage coming out. Brother Kurtzel. He is going to be trying to get the pentakill maybe. Brother Noah takes that from him. And they're all very low health. This could be very good here for the E-Tigers. We're going to see how this really works out. And the stun coming out. The flash. There's an interesting flash there by Fireblade. And Brother Doom will take down Psycho. Looks like uh, Texios will be caught out as well. And on top of that, Trooper will be caught out as well. And there goes that. Down goes the first. The next is Kurt. Will they look to get another? Brother Doolin actually gets taken down by Crimson. He will try and go for another, but it is just not there. Texas is trying to, I mean, trying to get a kill. I just don't think that the e tigers will have a name to do anything here. They're going to try and chase him down. The stun is missed here. And Mr. Brother Noah will go in. Fireblade will take that kill from him. And Brother Cam goes in for the knockup, and Brother Kurtzel will take the kill as well. Trooper trying to come in here, but he will get stunned, and Brother Kurtzel says, Oh, excuse me, Brother Cameron says, No, sir. Harmony and Crimson. Well, now just Crimson trying to defend against this onslaught. Brother Kurtzel is dishing out the damage. Brother Noah. In with the double kill. Do I see triple? Triple kill. We could be seeing the first JP2 Penta here. Here he goes. He goes in for the kill. Takes it down. There's the Quadra kill. Will he get the unofficial Penta? Very low health. They're all very low health. The Q comes out from Hexios. They're all still very low health. They all have him back to base. Fireblade will pick up that kill. Looks like uh, Brother Noah is going to pick up the kill on Psycho Soldier. It looks like this could be kind of bad for JP for JP2. They're all so low. The flash coming out from Brother Cameron, but it doesn't matter much. The damage is just too high, and JP2 will take Game 2 versus the E Tigers. And again, this an amazing display of teamwork here by JP2. As we take a look at the stats from the game, Brother Duel, 14, 2, and 10. Ending up with 26 CS. Um, Fireblade, 7, 0, and 13. Ending up with 11 CS. Brother Kurtzel, coming up 10, 0, and 14, 49 CS. Brother Cam, 2 0 and 20, with of course a 1 S 1 CS, and Brother Noah ending up with 11 and 0 and 12. Uh, 11 0 and 12 with 42 CS. We're going to take a look at the general champions charts and see how that's framed. Looks like Brother Doolin came out on top, uh, followed by Brother, uh, followed by, uh, actually, it's going to be Brother Noah. And then Brother Kurtzel for our top damage leaders in this game. So, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up for the E Tigers versus. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up for the E Tigers versus the JP2 Knights. And um, uh, make sure that you tune in. Uh, make sure that you tune in uh, this Saturday at 3 o'clock for JP2's next eSports game. Um, and that game is, uh, who they're facing is to be announced. And But make sure that you go ahead and you tune in for that game. I have been your shoutcaster, Matthew, and I will see you guys later.